Hey there, so uh, my name is Gabby and I am here to review this Giantix portable washer that I bought uh, on Amazon for about, it was like 200 bucks after tax. Um, at first I was really frustrated with this machine, but then I ended up figuring it out. Um, so here it is. So the machine comes in a huge box um, and it does not include that dolly, but I purchased that aftermarket on Amazon uh, because I needed something to keep it that I can roll around really easily. Um, so on the washer, it's on rinse right now. You have soak, wash, rinse, spin. You can choose which one you want. If you just want soak or you want wash, rinse, spin, or you just want rinse, spin, that's an option too. Uh, you have three water levels. Apparently, if your water level is not enough, the machine will automatically add more. Um, uh, obviously that's the time remaining, start and pause, and the power button. Um, this lid is nice, I'm not going to lift it because I, I actually it should be fine. But it's on rinse right now for me, and see it's pretty good, shakes around pretty well. Um, the issue I had with this machine was this, I could not figure out how to get that hooked up to the hose, uh, to the sink. Basically the hose it came with was way too short super short um elbow hookup for the actual washer and then this hookup for the sink uh i had to buy a bunch of converters i was very frustrated because nothing was working every time i hooked it up it would end up excuse my messy kitchen holy crap that looks terrible on video um every time i hooked it up it wasn't working correctly it would start squirting especially from here or like up on the sink so at first i abandoned it and i was super pissed off and i call i I actually put in for a return with Amazon with the person I bought it from. Very long process. They gave me a, what I thought was a paid stamp to mail it back, paid postage. Turned out they were just giving me postage and I was supposed to pay to send it back. And the cost of the whole washer was about 200 and the cost of shipping it back to California from New York was gonna be about 150, like 160. So needless to say, I wrote a shitty review. Oh here, here's, you guys can see the, there's the water. Uh, it is a drain pump that comes with it, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but anyway, I left a shitty review. I was pissed off because nothing was working. And then I realized that if you manually add water to it, that also works as well. Basically, I just got a garden hose, hooked it up to the sink fine, and I stick it in there and fill it to a certain line. Um, there is no line for you to see, but when you fill it up, as soon as it hits the correct amount for whatever water level you choose, it automatically starts swishing around. Um, so yeah, that's the portable washer. Obviously now I'm super satisfied with it. Um, it's working pretty well. The loads are kind of small. The actual load basket probably holds like a couple shirts or like maybe like underwear and socks for the weeks, for the week. <laughs> so I usually only do a couple, couple things at a time. Um, I did like a, a heavy towel on like a couple shirts and I think I put too much detergent in one of the first times, so I had to like do it over again. And um, the spin is really great. After I use the washer and spin it out, it's they're pretty dry, like 90% dry, and I just hang them here, or I hang them up on um, a hanger. And yeah, and some of the clothes come out a little bit like this is overnight drying. It's a little, uh, whatchamacallit, wrinkled, but hey, I don't have to leave, I don't have to go to the laundromat, uh, which is closed right now because of everything going on with the illness. So um, yeah, that's it. That is the Giantex portable washer. I would uh, say definitely buy it. It's definitely worth it, uh, especially if your uh, apartment pays for water. My apartment pays for water, which is great. Um, it's just a little more manual labor, but it's less driving to the laundromat and um, if you can, I mean, if you can find the right hookups for your sink, then it's completely easy. I think my water pressure might have been a little too, too strong as well, so that could have been an issue. But yeah, it's a great little machine. Um, and uh, once it's done spinning, I'll come back and show you guys what the inside of the washer looks like. But yeah, I'd say go for it. It's a great little product. Okay, so now that it stopped, I can show you what the drum looks like. Um, I have a couple towels in here, a couple shirts. Uh, basically, my whole my arm to like my elbow fit in there. Uh, I'm 5'2", for reference sake. Um, but yeah, it's pretty great. Basically, what happens if you manually have to load the water is it pauses and stops the time 
and I can actually feel this like humming, vibrating, meaning that it's trying to add water. So I just stick my hose in like that, uh, turn on the sink, let it run. I actually can even, you can even close this halfway and just let it go. And then as soon as it fills up all the way, it will start to um, churn. And then I know to pull it out. I give it one more second after it starts churning because the first couple times I stopped it as soon as it started churning and it stopped again waiting to fill more water in. Um, but yeah, one load's about 40 minutes. And um, yeah, that's the washer. It's really great. Uh, I would also su suggest getting the dolly with it. I'll uh, link that in the description. And just go check out the other reviews on Amazon for which uh, faucet hookup to use. I don't know how loud that is if you guys can hear me well, but yep. Yeah. Okay, I just thought of one more um, complaint I guess I had about it is that when you're done, the pump obviously pumps out all the water to your sink, but um, there's water left over in the pump, like in the actual tube. So I kind of have to like finagle it and quickly lift it up and toss it in here. And then there's still some water sitting in here. So I just put, I just put the hose in the actual washer for the rest of the time until, or, or to store it, I guess, until next time I use it. Sorry, I only two hands and I got the phone in my hand. Um, but yeah, I store it like this underneath my um, countertop so that I don't have to worry about water leaking on the floor. Anyways, I hope you guys liked that video review of the Giantex portable washer. I uh, hope you find it useful. Um, any comments or questions, leave them below. And uh, yeah, until next time. Bye.